Welcome back. We have Arlene Olinick joining us from TRU. She is the alumni officer there. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, you know we're not talking about that first. We're talking about what's <laughs> off screen here. <laughs> Kelly Olinick, of course, uh, doing very well the other night. 26 points off the bench in game seven against Washington. We have to ask you about this, Arlene. Oh my gosh, my, my heart like jumped into my throat. Mm -hmm. It's we're so happy when um, all that training and all that focus comes to fruition for him. And uh, a girlfriend was there and she said it was like a Disney movie. Is that right? She said they were chanting his name and she said it just was overwhelming for her. Yes. And she's not even his mom. <laughs> yes. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So that was uh, the end of that series. They are now in with uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers, of course. Uh, first game. They haven't won that one, but you're hoping for the best going forward. We are, certainly. And, of course, my husband and I are jumping on a plane and going to see him. Uh, mm -hmm. The game, the second game in Boston is tomorrow night, so mm -hmm. we'll leave at 6 and get there at 7. Mm -hmm. Games, Game time at 8.30. Mm -hmm. But um, you have to respect that, that team. Yes. They have three all-stars. They have possibly one of the best players in the league and maybe in the league ever and so there's a whole amount of respect but you play the game it, mm -hmm. and anything can happen mm -hmm. well we're wishing our Kamloops boy uh, lots of luck and, uh, and safe he feels for the you. love too <laughs> yeah good that's awesome I, I'm sure the next game will be fantastic to be at uh, but you're here today actually to talk about uh, a few things going on uh, the 50th anniversary of TRU as well as the charter alumni breakfast that's taking place in early June so the 50th anniversary is still front and center in our brain because like even ourselves we have that 50, that zero or that big zero or big five uh, birthday mm -hmm. and ours is the 50th. Mm -hmm. And that comes in 2020. So we have a vision as we start to, to wrap up some of our events and trying to uh, talk to some of our, our grads that have we haven't seen for a while. So especially our women who have changed their names and we can't really reach out to them directly. We know you're out there and we would love you to come back. Mm -hmm. The one thing that we do is a charter breakfast and we've, um, this year's the second one. And those are our Caribou College grads. Sometimes they feel a little neglected because we've changed our name a couple of times. So <laughs> we have a free um, brunch. It goes from 10 till noon. The president comes. We have the deans show, um, uh, join us and handshake. But we're really looking for our Caribou College grads to join us and share their memorabilia. If they're downsizing their homes or things, then they want to share that um, I don't know, printed ashtray that they kept. Which or... we have a shot of. Let's take a look at these. Uh, yeah, you know what? I know that a lot of this sort of stuff is lurking around in people's basements in their boxes. Yeah. Uh, you're probably not producing any more <laughs> ashtrays at the no, uh, university at this time. <laughs> However, But cool even if they have photos like this or even photos they don't want to give us, but they we can scan and, and share because... It's great to, to go back, especially, you know, you get to a certain age and you're getting rid of that. It's important for us to see where we came from. So mm -hmm. we love collecting this. If you can't make the breakfast, you can just contact us at alumni at tru.ca. We do have some, I know we have some athletes that uh, have still have the cleats in their closet that mm -hmm. would um, have maybe pictures that explain the season in better form. And mm -hmm. it's so much fun. And, and we share, people come and share stories like, Locker rooms on the top of Old Main where everybody, including profs, would get together on Friday afternoon and have a couple of beverages. And those are cr great stories. Mm -hmm. And people remember when trades used to be in the Old Main building and it was all one school. Sure. So they have great stories and uh, it's, it's great just to share those stories with us. What will you do with all the memorabilia once collected for 2020? Will it be uh, sort of showcased in one specific spot? Or? We certainly will put, if the person isn't an anonymous donor, we will put that it's from them and sure. then we'll put it out. And we'll probably have it reflective of the buildings that are there now. I know that when in Caribou College there was one building and then we built the clock tower and it built from there. But we'll probably have... Um, create a sort of a flow and, and put things in different buildings mm -hmm. so that we have people going of interest in there. And we have a couple of other things up our sleeve. Certainly we're going to have the, the concerts and the fun and the party atmosphere, but we will have some speakers that speak to the changing of, of um, even what we've gone through in, mm -hmm. in the past. Looking forward, looking past. Yeah. Awesome. And as for the breakfast that's taking place on June 3rd, uh, it's a, a breakfast that you're inviting all alumni to uh, not, and people should not be afraid to bring any of their stuff that they find. Absolutely. And we do need people to RSVP. We don't want to be short of, of coffee for sure. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but so it's on alumni at uh, dot... Oh, where is it? It's... Uh, 
We've got it on there? screen there, tru.ca slash alumni. Yeah. Uh, and people can go there, I believe, in RSVP. Absolutely. Awesome. If they want to bring a guest, it is $10, but for all our grads, it's mm -hmm. free. Awesome. All right, Arlene, uh, we really appreciate you being here. Uh, safe travels to Boston tomorrow. Thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll be back after a quick break. Stay with us.